Hello everyone and welcome back to another study with me. So for this study with me, I wanted to do something a bit different. So I thought I would take you guys along during a normal university week of my life and just show you how some of my study days look like. So as you saw, this was Monday and I started my week by making my to-do list for the week, which I always do. I just write down everything that needs to be completed during the week and then I just make a plan for what I'm going to do each day. On Mondays, we don't start university until 12, so I usually do some studying in the morning. So here I worked on preparing notes for the math lectures of the week, and I also made a summary for medtech on the topics radiochemistry and PET. Then it was time to head to uni on this beautiful autumn day where we worked in groups to complete problems in both math and physics and then it was time to head back home. So on this evening I had quite a lot of math problems that needed to be completed as we had just started on a new topic which was integration. So I worked on that for quite a while though unfortunately I didn't record everything. And then it is Tuesday and on this day I decided to get up a bit earlier than usual to finish some questions before I went to uni. On Tuesdays we started 8 so it was really dark and gloomy when I arrived. We then had a math lecture followed by 2 hours of self-study time and then we had a physics lecture before I went back home. When I got home, I had received something really cool in the mail, which was this stationery subscription box from Senpop. This is their stationery box, and it contains lots of cool and unique stationery items sent all the way from Japan, so I thought I would do an unboxing with you. First, I got these Galaxy page markers, which come in this small box, and they will be really useful for keeping track of pages in my textbooks. Then I got this adorable small washi tape that is kind of Super Mario inspired and that is perfect to use for decorating. Next, I got this small keyring with index cards. I have another one of these and I absolutely love it. I used that one for physics flashcards that I can study on the go and I will probably use this one for medtech terminology. Then I got a mechanical pencil from Pentel. This one is the 0.5mm size, which is just what I prefer. Pentel is my favorite brand for pens and pencils because the quality is great and the pens are very comfortable to use. So it is safe to say that this pencil will be put to good use as you will very soon see. Then I got this pair of scissors and these ones are fairly small so they fit easily into your pencil case and they're called smart scissors because they've got this cool mechanism that naturally keeps them open. These ones have already gotten their place in my pencil case and I'm so glad I finally have a pair of decent small scissors. Next, I got a pack of Zebra Mild Liners which are my absolute favorite highlighters. 
This is the Worm Pack, which actually is my favorite out of the four packs. And it contains five double-sided highlighters in colors that are so much more comfortable to look at than the ones highlighters usually are. The mustard one is my all-time favorite color, so I'm so glad I got an extra of that one as well as the other colors that were included in the pack. Then I got a sheet of stickers which says Science Boys and I thought these were so cute and the background is clear so you can use them on any type of surface. I also got this pack of these adorable frog sticky notes which you'll see I actually ended up using in my notes afterwards as well as this super cute memo pad with a polar bear on it. Finally, I got an item that I wasn't quite sure what it was until I read the description, but this is a plastic sheet that is used as a support while writing. You place this under the paper while you write and it gives you a much smoother surface to write on. I thought this was a really good idea, it's really useful especially if your desk has a rough surface and you prefer writing on loose leaf paper. So those are the items included in the Senpop stationery box. I was so happy with everything and so glad that the box included such a wide variety of items that are both practical, unique and useful. I've left a link below in case you want to check out the subscription box yourself, which I honestly would highly recommend. Thank you so much Senpop for letting me try out these items, I am so grateful for everything. So after unboxing the items, it was time to get back to studying. I worked on making notes for the rest of the evening as I had focused on doing questions earlier in the day, so I worked on the radio chemistry summary for medtech, and I also wrote a physics summary on harmonic motion and oscillations, which were based off of the lecture I had had earlier in the day. Finally, it is Wednesday, and on Wednesdays we have a morning lecture followed by a 4 hour break and then another lecture. So for the 4 hour break, I decided to work in the library, so I worked on math questions, finished the radio chemistry topic for medtech, and went through past midterm papers for physics. Then I had another lecture on oscillations before I went home. So on this day, I was pretty tired, so I didn't do that much work, but I did work on some physics questions that I found a bit difficult as I was already quite tired when I started. So since I felt that my concentration wasn't that great, I decided to take an early evening just to clear my mind so I could be more refreshed and focused the next day. So that is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed coming along on some of my study days and hopefully that it could give you some motivation for your own studies. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with another video.